Hi, it's Shell, and today we are going to make some more <laughs> negative butterflies, or butterflies with these negatives, and I figured I would go ahead and do that throughout the, um, the week, so Friday, tomorrow will be the last day, and I am recording this on Wednesday, but, um, I don't know, I just had some good ideas. I talked it, you know, with Clint and stuff, and he kind of helped me come up with another idea or two. And this was his idea, is to just use the, and I was gonna show you guys those, wherever, here they are. So when you pick up this, um, kind of all of these uh, butterflies, one of the negatives is clear. And I thought, I'm not going to be able to do anything like this. And when I was talking to, or anything with this, when I was talking to Clint, he says, oh, I have an idea. <laughs> so, let me kind of show you his idea. Um, he just kind of, you know, said, oh, do it like this and then do your thing. So, but at least he gave me an idea and I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So... Uh, I am putting it on this. It's either a butterfly or a moth. It might be a moth, actually. But, you know, that's not going to bother me. We're just going to have some fun with it. Again, I am using some art glitter glue. And this is available on Amazon. And I do have a link below if you want to look there. I think you can find it like on Etsy. You can go to artglitter.com and order from there so anything like that so this was Clint's idea is to kind of surround the butterfly with the um, with the outline of this butterfly and I thought that was a pretty cool idea so and then I kind of was thinking about you know what else to do about it and you know he said he also said um, it's a good size for a um, paper clip. So that's what we're going to make today is just a fun butterfly paper clip. And see how it turns out. You never know with me. <laughs> Someone said, Michelle, you always say that and it always turns out. Well, you know, that's not true. <laughs> I do, you know, rethink my design and stuff like that until it works for me but like the one I did on Monday the first part of it did not turn out <laughs> but I just want to kind of give you guys some ideas on how to use these up sorry sitting over here on a well I'm on the couch and with a TV tray just because you know, I didn't think this was going to be that long, and I was trying to be comfortable. Kind of had like a stomach virus the last few days, and poor Clint's having to go by himself. But it's not too horrible out there for him. But isn't that pretty? I really like that. Is that too bright for you guys? It's kind of rainy here today. I'm going to lower it, I think. And, um,. Yeah, it's kind of rainy and cold, and I don't know what's going on. What's wrong, Bubba? Daddy's Bubba's not happy that he's gone. Can you hear him? Hi, honey. Are you okay? No. What's wrong, Bubba? I'm sorry. Well, Daddy will be home soon. <laughs> we have this same conversation when it's just me and him. Well, him and, you know, the other cats. And uh, every every day that Daddy's gone, he's really sad. But he'll be okay. You'll be okay, Bubba. I know. <laughs> so, I am just using some art glitter glue. I am um, using some, I mean, art glitter glue. Vintage photo, sorry. And just kind of bringing it back. Uh, my thoughts for the rest of the week was to um, 
was to um, thank Michelle. My brain just quit. Do you ever get that way? Somebody texts you or something? You're thinking, oh, <laughs> I need to answer that. Or then you just don't think. But anyways, uh, my thought was to bring them more into the junk journal realm. You know, so to say. Move this up just a touch. But I know you guys... Tell me that when I'm sick, I should not do so much. I should rest and just get well, but I'm not sure what happened this time. I just started feeling horrible, and I don't think it's food poisoning. I think it's just a, um, a stomach virus. So, anyways, I'll be fine, you know. You know how it goes. So... But I was sitting here, I was watching a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Actually, a Christmas Hallmark movie. And I got to thinking about, you know, like Clint talking about, oh, we need to make, you need to make some um, butterfly. Um, see, my brain just totally quit working. <laughs> butterfly paper clips. But you guys know how I am, so it's nothing new. And... So I kind of worked it out in my head and how I was going to do it. So I have a couple of ideas. I do have this kind of uh, left over. I thought that might be kind of pretty. Though I don't think I would want, you know, so much pink. So let's just see. Uh, these are just man manila folders. And I cut them about two. I think, no, they're... Two and a half or three inches and what I do when I'm working with a manila folder and I was working on another project as well and I just go ahead and cut off the fold and then these will make into a really fun paper clip if you've seen my paper clip series you may recognize that from that but I have so many of those because <laughs> I started just cutting them off because I don't use the fold very often and I was kind of overwhelmed with them, and I thought, ooh, you know, let's try that. So, I know this is upside down. I'm going to try to kind of tear it, because I want that pink at the top. Kind of away from this rose, or kind of like that, so it kind of blends in a little bit. And then I'm going to just see about pulling that Paris that's upside down off as well. But these are one of my favorite ideas, you know, to use for paper clips. So, see that does, you can't tell that it was upside down or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and trim it just a little bit more. Let's go on this side. I really like the jaggedy edge, so I'm just going to leave that. It's just fun, and I just like it. Maybe not so long, but there we go. So I'm just going to kind of layer it up and stuff. I have a couple of ideas here, but something like that I think will be fun, and we haven't used anything in this way, you know. Oops. So again, I'm just using my art glitter glue. I use this for everything. So I'm just gonna glue that down. Uh, one thing I like to do on these is put like a little tab. So I did pull out a punch, but I did not pull out paper to use. So maybe I'll just use like some music paper you know, something that would be kind of fun and kind of make it more junk journal as well. This is just some I had in my stash. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out using a heart punch. So... And it, I don't have that far of a reach, so that's why I'm cutting it down, in case you guys were wondering. So, 
and I'm just kind of looking in, see what I'm punching out. I'm going to do four of them. And anything I use, if I can find it, it will be linked below. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these because I really want it to be dark and, you know, just kind of junk journal-y. I know I keep saying that. But that's kind of what I'm aiming for on this project. You know, using more um, modern things, but kind of bringing it back into a vintage look. So I'm just going to just put some glue here. And then I'm going to use that as my tab. And I just thought that would be really cute. Really fun idea. You know, think about different uses for your punches. And go like that. There we go. How cute is that? Okay, so far I'm really liking how it's turning out. Like I said, I wasn't sure. <laughs> so I want to just kind of put this here, kind of something like that. I think will be cute. And I'm just going to put some glue kind of along the spine. And put that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and let that one dry. We're going to work a little bit on this one. Again, I do want the hearts as our um, little tab. I like hearts anyways. That's one thing. Uh, when I was designing stamps, uh, all of my stamps had hearts on them. So it was like, you know, in a... The pig's nose or whatever might have been a heart or, you know, just whatever. Okay. And this one. There. I love that and I love that you can kind of use these and put, use them as a paper clip and you know just kind of stick them in your journals and there's plenty of journaling space in here so let's see what we want to do here um, I may want to go ahead and use some of the paper instead of like the fabric even though I love the way the fabric looks I kind of want them to be a little bit different and to kind of give you guys you know different ideas as well I don't like my ideas to all be the same that doesn't look too bad uh, I'm just going to because it it does kind of go around a little bit further than I inked down. I'm just going to kind of ink it so that it has like a really dark background and it'll stand out a little bit more. So I'm also going to ink the music paper because I can't let that alone, you know. You guys know how it is with when you're addicted to inking. <laughs> I like that. I think that looks really nice. And let's see what else. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I'm really liking that one. Uh, let's see. Hear the Bubba. He's still talking. Bubba, I know, honey. I know. He's so sad. <laughs> He's just sitting in there crying breaks my heart because you know daddy is his life and when daddy's not here <laughs> it's just heartbreaking uh, I have some tatting I think I'm gonna throw that tatting in there as well 
Is that too big? It's not the right color. Uh, if you guys haven't looked in the store lately, the store is um, the Rambling Crafter. And I do have some tatting. Uh, Clint's mother made some handmade tatting. So I have some tatted hearts and stuff in the store. I don't think I'm going to use that though. I did pull some small roses. This was some I got from a um, thrift store a while back. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I don't know though. It doesn't quite fit with what I want to do. I think I'm going to use these. These are more um, fabric. These are almost like a paper and they're really, really stiff. So let's use the fabric ones and just kind of see what we can do here, you know. I know I like this part. I feel like it's almost too um, too short, and so I feel like I need something here. I may not, you know, after I put the butterfly down. I still feel like I need something. So, you know what I think I want is some ribbon. So let me go grab some ribbon, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some ribbon. I think that's a good choice. I was thinking it was navy blue, but it's more of this turquoisey looking. And I also had to grab some lace because, you know, lace. <laughs> so I think I really want to put that lace on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just situate that on here just to see what I think. You know, this is the fun part. You just want to play, see what you like. And uh, go from there. So, ooh, I really like that. Okay. Oh, look, I got a bubble. I don't think that's ever happened before. It's like a little bubble miracle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel good. I just want to play. <laughs> oh, you guys know how I am. And those of you who don't know how I am will shortly, because, you know, it's me. So my sister is going to have a huge yard sale on Saturday and I was talking to her and her and her friend um, kind of bet or bidded, is it bid? I don't know. Anyways, they placed some bids on some storage rooms and she says, you know, they kind of bid low on several of them and then they bid high on a couple of them because they wanted to make sure that they got at least one of the storage rooms. And there was eight total. <clears throat> and I think they bid on all of them. And <laughs> she wrote me this past weekend and said, Michelle, we have six storage rooms to clean out. Do you want to come help me? And I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> nope. But I did tell, she said she had plenty of help, but um, I did tell her that, you know, anything she finds for me, then be sure and save it. <laughs> but it was just, and it, you know, it reminded me of like when my mother had passed and some of you guys were around then and some of you weren't. But when my mother passed, she, um, we had to go through two huge storage rooms in like two days because we had to do, you know, do the funeral and everything. And yeah, I just wasn't up for it. You know what? My camera's about dead, of course, because it always is. And let me go grab the plug. It's across the room and plug it in and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all <laughs> plugged in. But anyway, she was telling me that um, she got, oh, there was a mannequin in there. And she said it was like a really heavy duty um, woman's body and she said when she first opened it you know she was kind of scared because <laughs> she said it was kind of yeah but it just kind of startled her and she said she's going to use that on her signs 
I don't know if she will or not, but she's crazy enough. She might. But she's, she's so funny. I love my sister. So, you know, I know this isn't going to stay, but I just thought it would be kind of fun. Give it a little bit of lift. And actually, you know what I could do, which I don't have any out here. But I do have some. Oh, I wonder if I could cut this. I do have some really strong um, cardboard. I've been kind of working on a book off camera that I've wanted to kind of make. And I'll show you guys when I'm done with it. But. That's my little boy. Anyways, what I'm going to do is go ahead and... I can't tell if that's Clint's little boy or mine. Can you guys hear him? I don't know if you can hear him or not, but somebody's just screaming. And we do have one cat that when he's calling the other cats, he'll scream. And they're playing, and what he does is he'll hide like in the bathtub. <laughs> and it's so funny. But when we first heard that, we were like, oh my gosh, you know, what's wrong with him? You know, because sometimes they'll kind of scream before they get sick or something. But he wasn't. He was just calling the cats. And then he'll run and hide behind the, in the tub behind the shower curtain. Our cats are very unusual. They probably take after us. Look at that. Oh, guys, I'm loving how that looks. It was totally Clint's idea, though, to wrap this butterfly around the butterfly so I think that is so cool I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here they might be a little bit um, tall but you know I don't mind so much putting butterfly or roses and stuff uh, depth what am I thinking you know building it up when it's a paper clip because you can remove them as you need to let's see I'm gonna try to get that ribbon part down and if this doesn't work then what I'll do is uh, you know pull out my hot glue gun but I think it'll be okay I give it some time to dry <laughs> I tell ya. Okay, get in there. I could have cut those off. Maybe that would be best. They're just like poking up all over and I'm just not not doing it for me. But yeah, I don't mind the dimension. I knew I'd think of the word sooner or later. When it's on a paper clip. So. We did have a little bit of snow today, which was really fun. So, look at that. I love that. Well, kind of. Okay, let's just let it sit here for a second. <laughs> we'll work on the other one. Okay, uh, the art glitter glue, for the most part, you know, it takes a couple of seconds for, or a minute or so, for it to um, kind of get tacky, and then it'll start, you know, it'll hold down. And I've had really good success with... Um, with using it for bulky items. Sorry, finish my thought. Okay, so let's work on this one. Uh, I don't need a whole lot on here, but I did have something I wanted to put. Here it is. So I pulled out these little flat back beads, and here's Mr. Cubster. Cubby, 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 cubby. <laughs> okay, he's gone. Well, he's not really, but you know. Uh, I got these flat back beads, and I was going to tell you guys. I picked them up at um, on Amazon. And there was like 10,000 in here. 
I think is what it was. It was a, a crazy amount. So, if you guys get any. I mean, it was like for $10 or something. I think it was an excellent price. But it makes me wonder, you know, how long it's going to take me to use 10000 You never know. I'm just going to put three, I think, because I do like the odd numbers. And I just kind of want a little bit of, you know, I think I want to do that same thing like I did on this one. And kind of just, so the wings kind of stay up. And this is just a really strong cardboard. I'm just using some extra that I had left over from the project I was working on this morning. You can use like a foam tape or foam dots. I use that a lot. But I also use just a lot of stuff that, you know, is right beside me. And I kind of like that lift. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, I think it'd be kind of fun to maybe find another rose. I don't know if I can. I can't remember what was in here. Oh, we do have these. That's kind of bright and cheerful, huh? Do I want to try three? I think I do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give these a try. It is, like I said, it's really stiff. I'm going to have to cut. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just kind of, um, what's it called, reinforce it with some glue before I cut. That way, all the raveling of the rows won't come undone. Does that make sense? So... Because if I don't, then I really have a mess. <laughs> I've tried it before. So, let's do that with all of them. This one's a little bit kind of misshapen anyway. So, that'll help, I think. Wasn't sure how they would turn out. You know, I always say that. But you never know until you're almost done. Or until you're done. And so far, I'm really liking how they're turning out. I think they're really cute. I'm really liking them. I'm really, really thrilled with them. I think Clint will like them when he gets home. Because I'll be like, look, look what I did with your idea. That's what he says. He's the idea man. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't, uh, you know, give me a full idea he's just like oh we'll do this and then I'm like well what am I supposed to do with that and he says I don't know <laughs> you're the project lady I'm the idea man or something like that so and then I can use it like this I think I want it have to be yeah I think that will work oops I think that will work and what I'm doing is just trimming them right close to the stem and then just putting some glue and where do I want this one let's put it right here you know and if it's too bulky like when somebody somebody wants to write on it or something they can just take out like a piece of note paper and you know maybe write on that and glue these down. I just totally went across the room. <laughs> I just kind of like three three in a little area. Three in a, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I was thinking about putting some blue or something there, but I think I'm going to leave it. I think I like that one just the way it is. If you wanted to, of course, you could add anything you wanted. 
you could add some Tim Holtz words or, you know, something like that. Uh, one other thing I need to do, actually, two other things, because I still need to turn them into paper clips, but I have these kind of metallic paper clips. I'm pretty sure I got them from a yard sale, and I just want a couple of paper clips there because I will want to kind of use that to hold them down. So like this one I'll probably put here like that, but I do want to put the back on first. And then this one, probably put there. So, let's go ahead and do the back. I want to show you guys how I'm going to do the back. Uh, here is some of the file folder that I had left over. And I'm going to do these a little bit different, though not a lot. And, you know, you just want something that's going to hold up. And of course I did have my paper clips because I was all organized. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> but I want these to go so that when I slide them onto a page, okay, I want it to go this way, so that when I have it on, I'm going to slide these like onto the edge of a page instead of from the top because they're so big so it would just go like this and just slide in that way so I think that'll be kind of fun it's a fun you know a little bit of a different way and again I am all I did is put the paper clip on and I'm just putting the art glitter glue put it all over the paper clip and like that and then just kind of figure out you know which way you want it to go I want it pretty close to the end though not all the way and that's so that when I do slide it onto a page you know pretty much the whole paper clip will go on so I think that will work really nicely and then we're just gonna slide this on here and I think that's going to work nice. I really like that. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, paper clip. Here it is. Sorry, someone's texting. <laughs> oh. Robin, I think it's you. <laughs> I've met so many wonderful people on here and um Robin was texting me this morning and telling me about some of the items and stuff that she picked up at an estate sale and man people find such cool things it's just so fun and I love it when you guys text me I don't always get back to you right away because I'm you know busy sometimes but I try to always text you back Oh, I love these guys. I think this is one of my favorites. Somebody said that the one from Wednesday, which is today, that that so far is their favorite. But you guys will have to let me know what you think of this one. You know, I mean, I have tons of, like I said, negatives and stuff. Because I think I got like four sheets of negatives. So, just so fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast kind of going through it and but I figure you know just through the week and then we'll start something else but I'm really having fun with it and I love how I just love how these turned out so in here just kind of you know making sure I can find a place to put this paper clip it slides right there that'll work but what do you guys think of these? I think these are so cute. And how fun. So again, you'll have to tell me which one's your favorite. If you have a favorite, I actually like both of them. I think they're really fun. And just a really awesome way to use up your scraps and your negatives. So thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
give this video a thumbs up. It really helps up my channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.